What's the story, Morning Glory? Oh, wait, it's the second album. We're here to rank it. But before we do, we're not including Swamp Song, either version, because we're going to do the master plan, and we'll cover it in that. So if you've got a shout at us in the comments, don't make it about that, please. Please, please don't. <laughs> Let's start with Hello. Hi, yeah. Oh, hi, mate. I really <laughs> like this one. It's, it's only opener, recently it? that I've... Uh, it very, a very good opener, yeah. Um... It's only or recent, considering how long I've known about Oasis, um, that I've really welcomed this into my life as a song. Hmm. Um, but it's up there with one of my faves, you know. Yeah, potentially. Um, it's again for me, it's one that I'm not overly familiar with in terms of the rest of the discography. Uh, there's a lot of talk that they should open with this on their tour. Um, which yeah. I think would be quite a good I that or Aquarius, which that would Ooh. be big time rib snorter. Ooh. Ooh. Um, Liam, are you familiar with Aquarius yet? No, I know that people love it though. Yeah, it's a uh, you probably heard it. Yeah, you, you definitely will. Maybe. Um, but this song isn't Aquarius. It's Hello. It is Hello. Yeah. Um, I think it could be a tentative five to seven. Because of the absolute behemoth tunes that are... That's fun. very true, yeah. You, you're spot on there. Liam, annoying, do you yeah. have anything to interject? I just find it mad that people are so obsessed with like the first like, you know, 15 seconds of the song. Do you know what I mean? People have created words for nothing. Is it... Oh, is brilliant. It, yeah, 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 brilliant. Okay, we got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Fantastic. I got there in the end. Callum, are you with us? Yeah. Nah, oh. mate. <laughs> no, nope. Wonderwall at the beginning? No? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, thanks for that. Uh, um, otherwise, yeah, it's. I think this is, for me anyway, this felt like uh, an instant kind of, this is our second album song. Do you know what I mean? I feel like they portrayed that quite well uh, after okay. definitely maybe. Felt slightly different um, in some respect. Just a bit more of a kind of, do you know what probably helps it? It's only three minutes, 23 seconds. <laughs> um, but it just felt more like a, we're, uh, we're back kind of tune. Um, and yeah, I think it's pretty all right. It reminds me of Slade melodically a little bit. Um, yeah. I know, Slade, I know Slade are obviously a massive influence on on them. Um, I can I can hear that in that. Oh. Uh, I still say five to seven, personally. Yeah, I, I personally put it higher, but like you say, with the songs we've got coming up, yeah. Well, uh, next up, roll with it. I kind of fell out of love with this song a while ago. And Me too. I'm yet to um, find the love again. Every time I listen to it, I feel like it's just too slow. And I know that Oasis have that walking tempo throughout a lot of their discography. But it annoys me a bit. The song in general just annoys me a bit now. It's mm. good, don't get me wrong. It's obviously a massive chorus. But I could I could take it or leave it now, to be honest. Yeah. Him? Yeah, I um <laughs> I genuinely thought he'd frozen and then use that stuff. <laughs> no, you know, it just you t- talking about it being walking pace reminded me that I've got an Oasis song on my running playlist. Uh and it's, runs. it's round our way, is the song. because uh, that's the tempo I run at. When I run. Um Okay. Random. Just just a little random fact for you. That's from this album, isn't it? From like the extended or whatever, or some sort of B side or I don't know. Um yeah, roll with it I'd it's kind of like an idea that wasn't then I don't know. It's wanted you've heard it, you've heard it. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of mm. yeah. There's not that much replayability to it for me. Definitely really, not. first time you hear it, like yeah, that's pretty cool. And then there's what it is. It's just yeah. cool to hear him sing like that. Yeah, I'd probably put it in eight to nine. That's pretty. I low. can get on board with that. I can get on board with that though. To be fair, we've got to be strict. Okay. Mm. Next up, a wonder wall. Number one. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, it's a, uh, it's a phenomenal song. Yep. Can't deny that, really. Um, 
It's unfortunately the most overplayed song of all time. Um, See, I don't think it is, and I think I, well, I mean that could be because I actively avoid it now. But I think "Don't Look Back in Anger" is a lot more overplayed than "Wonderwall." Possibly. Um, I think "Don't Look Back in Anger" is just a better song, so it doesn't feel as bad. And obviously, um, I think it, it kind of grew again in popularity following the uh, Manchester incident. I feel yeah. like that really boosted its numbers. It's devastated well. too much, Cal. You heart the yeah, prick. Fucking... <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, no, I think Wonderwall is one of those that, like, at some point was. It's consistently played rather than overplayed. It's just has never yeah. ever stopped being played by buskers or by any band in any pub anywhere. Do you know what I mean? It's 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 one of the first things that some people play when they pick up a guitar. Um. It, there's definitely a lot more intricacy involved in the song than you would believe going mm-hmm. into it. When you really, when you really deep it, bro. Um, <laughs> I really know there's some so things. many more layers to it. Just today, I noticed some string parts I've never noticed before. Yeah, there's a whole like arpeggiated picking thing going on that you've just never noticed until recently. Uh, the bass tone in it is actually really nice. Mm-hmm. Um, not really distorted, even though you can't really hear that someone did a video on it um yeah it almost sounds like um i think the bass sounds a bit like kind of bongo drums in a weird way it creates like this like some sort of really low sub drums but played like bongo drums but yeah it's a cool effect it's a very cool effect um i think we'd have to put it in two to four I agree. I've come fully back around on this now because I probably avoid it. So when it comes on, I enjoy it for the song that it is. Yeah, it's a very, very good song, to be fair. And yeah, I think Liam sounds that. really good on it as well. Um, yeah. Like, I think he it's not just how Liam sounds as a, a sort of novelty thing. He genuinely sings this really well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's even though people take the piss out of his way of singing this... I feel like if it was anyone else, it would be annoying. Mm-hmm. But it lends itself to his voice. I mean, I'm probably saying that because we've just grown up knowing it. But Considering this is one of the most covered songs of all time, I reckon this is probably one that just should never be covered. You, yeah. You're never going to do it justice. But it's yeah. one of those that you're going to get everyone singing along. And that's the that's the beauty yeah. of it, isn't it? Really. You know, it brings people together. <laughs> It's, wow! It's all about, I'm talking right. about community. Oh, that's, that's lovely, that Liam. And then he ruined it at the end. Um, uh, well, don't look back in anger, Cal. Uh, <laughs> haha! Is the next one. It's. I mean, it's one of the best songs of all time. I would say. I would, say of all time, I would yeah. also say of all time. I think it's a genuinely great song. I mean, yeah, I would say of all time as well, but I actively try and avoid it. Which is I, probably more than more, more on me. It's because you don't want to spoil it because you know it's good. What, mm-hmm. what I think is, by the time this comes on on a night out, I am so far past the point of wanting to be there that I associate, I associate that <laughs> with this song. So it's about half seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's before we've left the house. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He's already had two. But obviously, of the wine. yeah, crying in the corner. Um, <laughs> It's a fantastic song, no doubt about it whatsoever, and it should be high up on this list. Well, it's definitely two to four. I say two to four for now because there's a song, uh, there's two songs which could potentially be number one for me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it is as many as much as like all the uh, hat wearing. Shaggers are um, <laughs> are gonna say it. It is one of the best songs ever written. It is. Annoyingly, and um, we can't deny that. Just accept um, it, you know I mean? Just accept it. Hey, now, this is what dreams are made of, in the words of Lizzie McGuire. Wow. Hey now. Hey now. <laughs> Don't dream That's it over. Song. That's a different song. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hey now. Hey now. Hey now. Anyway, Hey Now is the song we're going to talk about right now. Fucking hell, guys. This is one of the ones that I don't really put on that often, to be honest with you. 
Um, yeah, I enjoy it when it's on, but if it wasn't on this album, would you be that arsed? Mm. Nag Ois. I really yeah. quite like this one, if I'm being honest. Oh, with you. Well, I feel this like that bitch. was one of the case. This bitch. I like it, it just feels it's a bit different. I'm not saying I don't like it, I do like it, but look at the... names. Oh, sorry, go on. Uh, sorry, look at this track list coming up, Liam. Yeah, I Obviously, I, I say I say that to someone who doesn't have the nostalgia or... You don't know what I'm thinking. Look at Liam's next song, because you have no, a clue. <laughs> um, but um, no, like, I, I, I think it should be... It, it should be... Ah... Uh... Annoyingly, it's going to be low because uh, of how yeah. good everything else is. It is annoying. I do, I do like this song, mm-hmm. and I think Liam. I was going to say, I'll say what I was going to say before. I think Liam's vocals on this are actually really good. Um, yeah, I right. say actually as if it's a surprise, but like they've, um, they're very good. But yeah. Um, I could hear this eight to nine. <laughs> I'm listening to an album, yeah. and I could hear this as like an Arctic Monkey song or something. I don't know. Weird. <laughs> like suck it and see era. It's just got that kind of It's a point in the statement really. Eight to nine is what we're saying. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Okay. Skipping the first swamp song we are on to so some might say. Oh boys. Yeah, this is high. I fucking love this song. This might be the most nostalgia bait song for me. Mm. something about this just even though I wasn't alive at the time it came out <laughs> it reminds me of being little is that through uh, Guitar Hero? I forgot it was on Guitar Hero no it's just because it was I don't know even, even like my mum and my dad used to well probably my mum and my dad didn't like Oasis at the time um, he was more of a blur guy um, my mum would have put this Small on guy. I've always liked your dad <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah no I fucking love this song Fucking love it. Beautiful. It definitely, it definitely just like creates this like projector image in your head of the nineties. <laughs> you know I mean? It really just like yeah. it places you in that. I wouldn't say it like creates a sense of nostalgia in me personally, but it like it it creates this just it it puts me in that spot more so. Mm. Um, it really um. Not that I knew what it was like. I'm just... a, a feeling of positivity upon me whenever I hear it. I think, uh, uh, obviously, there's a, a part of the reason why they're so successful, but this just makes it makes you want to have a drink, doesn't it? it makes you want to be outside in the sun, <laughs> having a drink. Yeah, 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 it, yeah. It really does. It just, I don't know, manages to transport you in a way. Um, I know I said to you before, but I realised uh, what we've got left. And... Yeah, I agree. I was going to say exactly the same. I love it. I prefer songs that are to come. So I think personally five to seven, but a very high five to seven. Yeah. Knowing that that's probably harsh. Liam. I personally don't. I mean, you've, you've both convinced me in different ways about how kind of good the song is, but I, it's an, I'm not a massive fan of it, if I'm being honest. I love the chorus, um, as in the sum, I'd say, part, but then the bit immediately after that where I start singing quick, I don't like the verses. I don't like really that much. I find them annoying. Um, all to say, yes, let's put it in five to seven. Okay. Happy did all of that. <laughs> so now, boys. No shadow. Things, now, Callum, you know how I was speaking to you before? <laughs> I knew it was going to be this one. You <laughs> absolutely <laughs> cow! <laughs> yeah, so was, mate. I fucking love this song so much. Is this a this one was... ten split between you two? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, uh... Is that what you're implying? Yeah, no. uh, I wouldn't. Or one high, uh, low split. High, low split. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackalow. Um, <laughs> this is in the film Goal, which for all the football people out there, that will evoke a lot of memories, a lot of nostalgia. Great film. Still great now. Um, that's not the only reason I love this song. It is so beautiful. It is just, oh my God, it's amazing. This... I need to spend more time with it. Fair. I'll admit that. This is the only song on this album, other than The Closer, that makes me feel anything other than, like, euphoria is the wrong word, but you know, like, just for a lack of a better phrase, like, let's fucking have it. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
The yeah, rest yeah, of the yeah. album makes me feel that. Whereas this actually makes me feel something, which I get more on the next album as well. Okay. I, I really like this song. Good, Liam. I'll, Good stand, I'll stand with you, Callum. I really like Thank this you, song, mate. to be honest. This is my number one by quite some distance. Whoa. By quite some distance, but... Insane. But I am just a man. I think this is definitely one of the best instances of them two singing together, mm-hmm. if not the best instance of it. Um, the Yeah, just perfect takes that they've managed to d- to get there. Um, yeah, I, I know, I, I realise not liking it as much is down to me not listening to it as much as anything else. Um, but it is a beautiful song, and I completely hear what you mean about actually feeling something other than Mm-hmm. The pure will to drink beer. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, yeah, Liam, what what are you thinking about um, rank? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking somewhat ahead here, or behind even. I'm saying we need to start shifting stuff before we place this, and by shifting, I think. I don't. I don't. Well, you think something else, something's going to go at 10 that's coming up? Potentially. Yeah. Potentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it the next song? Yeah. Potentially, yeah. Oh, okay. That's, <laughs> well, that's interesting. I wasn't expecting that, and I may also agree with that. So, um, okay, so that's so it's five to seven is Casting a Shadow. I think that's what we're getting now. Okay, that's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I just okay. assumed we'd need to make space. Okay, yeah, that's... Oh, well, that you know what they say about hurts. assuming, mate. You look ass like a of me and, uh, <laughs> you and me in the ass. Um, she's electric. Yeah, electric. I don't like this song. No, it's well. Yeah, I like the the falsetto part. That's it. Um, I mean, that's the only bit I like. Again, relating Oasis to football, uh, Mad Lads. Everton had a song for Richarlison, who I loved, to the tune of this song. Oh yeah, and that even made me hate this song more because of how much it was sung. So this is definitely a 10 for me. I understand it's probably a bit more lighthearted, a bit jovial. Comes across a bit naff, this. That's that's the issue yeah. with it, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a bit like Dixie's dinner of, yeah. of this album. It is. Um, In all honesty, as someone who's not so familiar with the songs, when this came on earlier, I thought it was that song. <laughs> and that's, I, that doesn't really mean much, but they are, in my mind, somewhat similar, so I agree with you there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the full set of it is fantastic. That chorus is great. Uh, is great. Yeah. But yeah, the, it ju- it seems out of place, really, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, would say yeah. that every song that's on that list otherwise is better. So that's the answer, isn't it? It's. I think I enjoy it more than probably what's in 8 and 9, but I just know it's actually not. Maybe roll with it. <laughs> No, I think so, they're over with it. No, they're over with better. Yeah. yeah. And I like Hey Now. Yeah, it's... Ten then. We're saying ten. Sorted. Whack it in. Wow. Morning Glory. Now. There's absolutely no need, sorry to interject, for Go this on. to be the tenth song on an album. <laughs> yeah. What is it doing <laughs> there? Yeah. If Just... you're not going to have it at number one, have it open in the second side. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's just, it's just wild. This is a rammer of a tune. Oh, straight up the bomb. <laughs> oh. uh, that'll go down well with all the uh, fan base. Well, it is, isn't all it? All the fan just... base. All the fan base. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um... Oh, mate, it's so... I say this often, but this just makes you want to absolutely fucking go mental, doesn't it? Head this makes you want to, yeah. Fucking kneecap pricks. Just everything. It just makes you want to go mental. Makes you want to boot a kid, doesn't it? Oh, this... um, and push over an old person. Um, <laughs> this could be. This could be a number one for me. Yeah, but I don't think it actually is. Um. But this is one of my favourite Oasis songs. Like this is like top three Oasis songs. Yeah. 
Liam, what are your thoughts on it? I feel like he's not going to like it. No, I, I do like it. I do like it. There's no real negative thoughts to me. I'm just not overwhelmingly in love with it. Do you know what I mean? I, I just It's a solid song, and it really does what it wants to do well. I just think these are the types of songs from Oasis that I'm not so big a fan <laughs> of. I'm trying to trying to look back at some sort of pattern and I think these are sort of these kind of heavier balls don't to the walls do it with songs. Anger. I shan't. The balls to the walls ones are that I'm not as big a fan of from Oasis. Um I um I like this song a lot more since seeing Liam Gallagher live. I saw him at Benny Kasim on when he first came back in like twenty seventeen and it was the first song he did. And like the just sheer excitement of that was palpable. This has had a resurgence in my life as well. This song mm. um, that just propelled it to the top of my <laughs> personal rankings. Um, it, yeah, I fucking love his vocals on this. I think they're some of the best. It's just so much power behind them. Um, and just gnarly guitar sounds. <sighs> yeah, uh, two to four. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Are you happy with um, that, Liam? I'm fine with that. Yeah. It's fine. And well, Champagne said, "You know, it's number one. It's the number one song. It's it's just happened, then it it just fell like that, and that is magical, really, because it is <laughs> number one." Go on, Callum. <laughs> what are we thinking? See, oh, I'm trying no, to I, be happy, but I can't. I love it, and it is fantastic. Wait for the butt. But I don't know if I love it anymore. I don't know. I think it's a problem with having some of these songs be so um, drummed into our brains for so many years is is trying to say which one's better is kind of hard. That's how I feel about it anyway. It's like I do really think this is incredible, but do I like Mm. it more than Don't Look Back on for example? Again, it's got to be subjective and objective on it whatever both of them mean i don't know if i <laughs> just two opposites so basically it's gotta be <laughs> it's got to be <laughs> yeah anything um, personal opinion or not yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> great i don't know if i love it anymore oh, but on. it's but it's brilliant it's amazing and i do think it would warrant being the best song on this album i would accept that but for my personal taste I, I probably wouldn't put it on anymore. But I'd also probably cry if I was drunk. Ah. It, you know, if this comes on at your wedding, Liam, you will be getting kissed. <laughs> oh, he's throwing out kisses like this. I can know to put that on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful, magical song. Let's just put it in one and be happy with it. Go on. Champagne Super Over in the Sky, do you know what I mean? I thought I'd see the day. I mean, Beautiful. Posit- we're positive wow. lately, aren't we, guys? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, do you know what? I actually don't have anything there that I actively disagree with other than Cast No Shadow But Wolf. I'll, I'll forget about that. Do you know what I might say, though, if I'm being honest? I feel like Hello managed to stick around relatively high. That's you, only because I think I like Hey Now more than Hello. Oh, no. But no. No? Okay. Just me then. Do you wanna, do you wanna... Motion denied. Do you want to move Cast No Shadow to in front of Hello, Cal? Would that make you feel better? Uh, it doesn't. I couldn't care less. Okay, thanks for watching <laughs> this rank. Um, <laughs> like and subscribe. And if you care, unlike one third of us, uh, comment down below. Uh, ding a bell. Tell us your thoughts on our opinion. Mustaches. <laughs> and on mustaches, because they are vital to our way of thinking. We have no brains without them. Um, Apologies for bringing up Lizzie McGuire in this review. I'm sure that will have angered a few people. Um, thanks. Bye. Guys, <laughs> uh, leave a comment on us about your morning glory, please. We want to know. <laughs> Goodbye. What, the people watching the this do not get morning glory anymore. <laughs> Olympics. Uh... Bye. <laughs>